In this video I will show you how to exponentially increase the speed of an object to look like this. So what we actually want is our object to start slowly and as it moves further and further we want it to increase its speed faster and faster. So for that we are not gonna use any keyframes. You can see here that if I press P we don't have any keyframes but we are going to use some expressions and don't worry it's only gonna be like three lines of code so it's very very simple and the fact that we don't use keyframes it's very effective because I can actually take this and move it wherever I want and the effect is the same it starts slowly and then it goes faster and faster so let's get started <laughs> Welcome back everybody, my name is Alexander Vlad and I make Photoshop After Effects and design related content so if you like this type of videos make sure you subscribe to the channel. So let's take this layer and let's press P4 position and make sure you separate the dimensions because you only want the X position and now hold Alt and let's click on the stopwatch before the X position. And here let's just write value and this is actually the value of the position itself. If we add to this, let's say 500, now our position changed from 300, what it was before, to 800. But we want our rocket to actually move forward. So for that, instead of 500, let's just add a time variable. So now you can see that the rocket it's actually moving but it's moving very very slow if you look here at the position we can see that the position increased but very very slow so let's multiply this time with let's say 50 and now the rocket is moving a little bit faster but it's still very slow so let's say we want to multiply this with 500 and now the rocket is moving forward but it's actually moving at a constant speed if you look here in this in this speed graph we can see that we can see that the position stays constant for the entire timeline so we actually want this to start slow and then to increase the speed as it moves forward and forward so for that instead of 500, we have to write here a variable that will change the value faster and faster. So for that, let's say we want a speed variable named SPD. And this SPD, first of all, let's say it will be 500. And the effect is as the same before. The rocket is moving at a constant speed. But what you want is to link this speed variable to a slider that will increase its value over and over. So for that let's just click on this layer and let's search here for effects and preset and now let's search for slider and double click on this and now we have a slider. So if you want to link this SPD to our slider we can actually just write this layer that effect and here let's just write slider control and here again slider and we want our slider for the first value to be 500 and now the effect is the same as before the rocket is moving at a constant speed so what you have to do now is to take this slider variable and just make it change its value faster and faster. So to illustrate what we actually want, we have here this graph that looks exactly like we want our rocket to behave. So we want it to start very slow and then to increase its speed faster and faster and faster. So this is actually an exponential graph and the formula for this is e to the power of x. So to use this in our project, we can actually put a keyframe on this slider. Let's go here in the effects, slider control. And again, let's hold Alt and let's click on the stopwatch. And now we are again in this expression field. 
and we can actually write value plus and now let's use the the formula from before so that was met.exp and here in parentheses let's just write time okay and now we can see that wait the rocket is still moving at a constant speed so why is that well it's not actually moving at a constant speed if you look here in the graph editor and we press this post expression graph we can see that the speed is actually increasing over time so you can see that it starts slow and then it moves faster and faster but we want this graph to be actually steeper so for that let's just write here at the value of the slider let's just write 2 and if you look now in the graph editor the value it's actually very very low so let's multiply the math expression with 50 and if we multiply this and we look now in the graph editor let's just auto zoom graphite and now you can see that our rocket starts very slow and then it goes faster and faster and faster and yeah that's all if you liked this video make sure you leave a like or a subscribe it would mean a lot to me and see you in the next video bye